is on a three-nation tour to Nigeria, Brazil and Guyana. Late yesterday night, he arrived in Nigeria, which is the first visit by any Indian Prime Minister to the West African nation in 17 years. Upon his arrival, Prime Minister Modi was presented with the key to the city of Abuja, which symbolizes the trust and honor bestowed on Prime Minister by the people of Nigeria. During his visit, Prime Minister Modi will engage in high-level discussions aimed at advancing the partnership between India and Nigeria. Following Nigeria's visit, Prime Minister Modi will uh, travel to Brazil to participate in the 19th G20 summit. The two-day summit scheduled for 18th and 19th November will be attended by several global leaders, including Chinese President Xi Jinping and outgoing U.S. President Joe Biden. In the final leg of his tour, Prime Minister Modi will visit Guyana from 19th to 21st November, which will be the first visit by any Indian Prime Minister to the South American country in over 50 years. लोगों में उत्साह आपने देखा होगा जो सोशल मीडिया पे कुछ वायरल आपने देखे होंगे वीडियो जो नाइजीरिया के लोगों ने बनाया है मोदी जी के स्वागत में हम उम्मीद करते हैं कि हम नाइजीरिया के लिए एक अपना अच्छा सहयोग दे पाएंगे उनको आगे बढ़ने में तो एक ना विश्व स्तरीय प्लेटफॉर्म पर ग्लोबल साउथ की बातों को उठाने के लिए भारत और नाइजीरिया के बीच अच्छे संबंध एक बहुत ही आवश्यक आवश्यकता है And my colleague Shinjoy is now joining us on the story with more details. Shinjoy, what all is on the agenda of Prime Minister's visit to Nigeria? Well, first of all, Prime Minister is going there. Uh, it's a very important African country. Let's not forget that Nigeria is one of the world's most uh, largest producers of petroleum. And at a time when the things are as bad as they are in West Asia, uh, Nigeria could provide petroleum to India at least uh, for a few years. That's what. Also, defense is an, uh, another area of cooperation. Uh, this could be part of the strategic cooperation that India and uh, Nigeria have. Uh, New Delhi and uh, Abuja. Uh, defense is an area because India is now beginning to produce uh, weapons and other equipment as part of the Atmanir Bharata scheme. Now, if that is so, India may need buyers, India may need exporters. We know Philippines has bought BrahMos missiles. Now, um, uh, Abuja could well do uh, just the same thing by buying Indian weapons. Now, I'm not saying that uh, perhaps the BrahMos can be sold to Nigeria, but small arms particularly is an area where Nigeria would be seriously interested and anything else. India also makes artillery now. India uh, does make small arms, even uh, the Arjun tanks. So there is a lot of equipment that India is making, and perhaps Nigeria would be seriously interested. So petroleum, which India seriously needs because uh, India ex imports 80% of its petroleum, and uh, the sale of weapons, are two major areas besides the fact, of course, that India and Nigeria have a strategic partnership. And once you have a strategic partnership, you tend to discuss everything. Uh, the situation in the world, uh, economic issues, uh, socio-cultural issues, all of these issues will come up uh, when Prime Minister and uh, Mr. Ahmed Tinubu uh, meet in Nigeria today. All right, Shrinjoy, thank you so much for getting us all those details. We'll keep coming back to you for more updates on the story. As of now, we're slipping into a...